good morning students today we are going to see about the enzymes so we are going to see what are enzymes their properties and characteristics and uh, uh, the sources of enzymes and how these enzymes play an important role in the food industries in different food industries how these enzymes play an important role we are going to see and let's start the class So first, what are enzymes? So enzymes are biological catalysts uh, which initiate and accelerate thousands of biochemical reactions in the living cells. So even our body which contains number of enzymes and these enzymes which are called as biological catalysts. We know what are uh, catalysts. Catalyst which helps to speed up the reactions. It can be of chemical catalyst or biological catalyst. And enzymes are the biological catalysts which are present in the living cells and which helps to initiate and uh, accelerate thousands of biochemical reactions. So, to even in our body, uh, to the, the reactions to take place or the process to take place, uh, many enzymes play an important role. Example, uh, in the digestion, digestion of the food, uh, there are number of enzymes which plays an important role to digest the food and helps in the absorption of the nutrients. And the uh, process, the reaction, which otherwise which is not possible under the normal condition which is found in the cell. So, these enzymes play an important role and it helps in processing the reaction. And uh, if suppose the enzymes are not present in that particular reaction, that reaction doesn't get completed. So, it plays an important role. And all biochemical reactions require one or more enzymes for their completions. Definitely, we need to have the uh, enzymes for the chemical reactions to take place. And uh, there are a uh, number of enzymes which are uh, thousands of years before itself, we have started using the natural enzymes which are made by the microorganisms that is from the microorganism origin there are number of naturally uh, you, natural enzymes uh, which we are started that human beings are started using before the thousand year itself and it helps in making uh, products like cheese bread wine and beer and uh, these enzymes nowadays plays an important role in the industrial processes, uh, mainly in the food industry. So, uh, these enzymes plays an important role. The study of industrial enzymes and their uses is called as a enzyme technology. So, about the enzymes which is used in industries, we are going to learn that is called as a enzyme technology. So, this is the diagram which explains how this enzyme plays an important role in, um, uh, in uh, that, um, making the process. So, first is the substrate collides with active site of the enzymes and becomes attached. What are the substances? That is a reaction. In that reaction, what is the substance we are going to, uh, 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 which is we are going to break down no? that uh, substance which goes and attach with the enzymes. So, and then the second step what happens the enzymes catalyzes the breakdown of the substrate. Substrate which denotes the uh, substance. What is the substance we are going to break down. And in the second step what happens the enzymes helps to break down the uh, substrate. And then last third step the products released from the active cell. After the breaking down of the substrate, the products uh, will be uh, freely uh, released from the enzyme. So, after the breakdown, they will move on. Again, these enzymes, no, these enzymes molecule, it can be reused. So, that is a uh, one of the main uh, characteristics of the enzymes. What is what are the enzymes we are going to use? Now we have already used can be used again and again. So it is the uh, can be reused again and again. So that is the main uh, reason why these enzymes plays an important role in the food industries. So now we are going to see about the sources of enzymes. 
and mainly the sources can be extracted from all a uh, living organisms all living organisms we can extract the enzymes here microbes are preferred more than the plants and the animal sources so i have told you it can be extracted from any uh, living organisms but uh, comparing with the plants and animals microbes are preferred more and what are the reasons they are generally cheap to produce from the microorganism origin if we are extracting the enzymes they are very much cheap because the microbes we can readily multiply in the lab and from that we can uh, able to extract the enzymes what are the enzymes we have uh, we want to use in the industries can be readily taken and their enzyme contents are more predictable and controllable predictable and controllable means we can uh, uh, grow their uh, the enzymes now in the lab and it can be more predictable how it grows what are the characteristics of the enzymes can be easily predictable so it will be definitely useful in the industries and also it is uh, very much controllable it is controlled by our um, environment and also according to the type of the lab we can able to control the reaction and plant and animal tissues contain more harmful material than the microbes when we compare with the microbes plants and animal tissues contain more harmful materials so that's why we are preferring the microbes uh, uh, we are preferring the enzymes uh, from the microorganism origin okay okay students thank you we'll see you in the next class